Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. Finally, I can show you my review of the Pimax Crystal. So I decided to do the review now because everybody wanted to see that, although not all um, functions and modules are ready. So for example, the standalone mode or the wireless mo uh, uh, module or the lighthouse module still missing, but I will tell you everything I can show you about the crystal now for example the display field of view uh, comfort lenses and all the stuff you need to know so this will be a cool review thank you to my sponsors Vultus vr Opperman events witches caps slim beats and aerofly as flight simulator let's have some fun with the video and let's go yeah let's talk about the design first so of course Everybody has a different opinion. In my opinion, the Pimax headsets are so cool. <laughs> yeah, look at the old one. Uh, they are really cool with this uh, V. Uh, looks looks futuristic and stuff. And this one has also that design and it's uh, reflecting. That looks so cool. In my opinion, at least. <laughs> it's a little bit smaller than the other Pimax headsets. And yeah, then we have this strap here at the top and all the... Um, material here that's very soft material also here um, for for your head and and look at the lenses they are crystal clear as the name says <laughs> really nice and yeah then uh, for the pre-orders you get the DMAS um, headphones I think later uh, you have to pay for them. I am not sure. I will put all the uh, additional accessories in the description below as uh, as soon as I know that. And then we have this wheel here for the head strap, of course. Um, then the battery is here. And yeah, then here we have the power button, an LED uh, volume. And here is the IPD buttons for uh, IPD. And here is a small um, slider for the uh, standalone mode and the PC VR mode. Yeah, and that's really, really nice. The four cameras here. So the design is cool. I, I always love the design of the Pimax headsets. Okay, let's talk about comfort, weight and cable length. So the integrated, the included cable uh, has two USB-A and one display port connector. And the cable is five meters. So this is just the standard cable. It's not extremely flexible. It's a little bit thick here, but it's okay. It's just standard like other headsets, nothing special. So the weight, the, the, here's the battery included. So as this is a standalone headset as well, you will need the battery here. And that means the weight of this headset is 1162 gram with the battery included. And this is this is really heavy. It's a heavy headset. Reminds me of the of the X tall or something. And uh, when you compare it to the to the Pico 4, this is only like 560 or something. So this is double the weight of the Pico 4, for example. And uh, this is crazy. So when I put it on my head here. And then use the screw here. So, and then here is a, this is a little bit tricky because they have a rubber strap and under the rubber strap you have this Velcro strap. So it's a little bit tricky to put that on the head. So, and now, so due to the battery is behind our head, it's this, the weight is spreaded. So I noticed that this is a heavy headset. It's just uh, close to 1.2 kilogram but it's spread it pretty good. So this is not a huge problem. I, I mean, you, you definitely notice that you have a heavy headset on, on my head, but I think I can uh, play hours with that. It's not a really big problem, but for people that don't want a big weight on their head, then um, it could be a problem perhaps. It's, it's a heavy headset. It's, I think it's even heavier than all the other Pimax headsets because there's a lot of stuff inside there. Uh, you, you, you definitely notice that. But yeah, that's only one thing to mention. 
Okay guys, let's talk about the setup and the software. So this is the Pi tool or Pimax client that you will need for the Pimax crystal. And here's the store, that's the starting screen. So this is important for the standalone um, apps that will come later and uh, you will uh, be able to buy that but here you can also find your PC VR games here that are installed via Steam VR for, uh, for example Half-Life Elix and stuff. Here's your account and you see your email and all this stuff and then here are some settings you can check out the version, the language, automatic stat with Windows, download location and all that stuff. Here's a little help. Um, where you can go to the forum or technical support and very important here is the Pimax crystal settings. Here you, you will have the guidance when you start that then you will be able to do the room setup, start Steam VR that I already did here, you see that. Um, then um, you can pair the controllers, restart headset or service and here you can see the controller um, battery, the headset battery and the base station. Now it's tracked via the cameras inside the crystal but there will later be a um, lighthouse system where there will be the lighthouse base stations and also you can use Vive trackers or any full body trackers if you have the, um, yeah, the lighthouse module later. Um, so here are some settings as well. You can see the power of the headset. Um, here you can use the uh, switch the refresh rate. Um, later there will be 160 hertz. They are testing that. Here's auto IPD. So yeah, if you want, you can change it manually. Here, uh, if you go to settings and stuff, and here you can do soft I, uh, IPD motion compensation. Here you can uh, switch um, settings for your games, render quality foveated rendering, smart smoothing and all the stuff what you want to do. So if some games don't work, um, just play around with the settings here, hidden area mask, uh, Vive only games and all that stuff, contrast. And here you can um, flash the new firmware. That didn't work for me. I hope they will fix that soon. But uh, yeah, everything worked. So that's um, no, no problem here. Yeah, then you can just start your games here. That's the setup. Let's talk about the display of the Pimax Crystal. This is one of the most important parts of a VR headset. And when I tried it for the first time, normally I try that in Half-Life Elix and so, and I, I uh, watched that and I thought, holy shit, that looks really good. I was so impressed. I, I, I can't remember when I uh, saw the, this game so brilliant and sharp. When you, when you hold this, uh, this, um, Gravity gloves in front of you, it's just like in real. It's really good. Also the, the clarity, the, 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 the stuff and, and uh, you, can, you can watch every detail. Some people said uh, uh, it's a, a little bit problem when you watch uh, far away or uh, some 3D effects they don't see. I didn't have these problems, so that was not, not a problem for me. So the resolution is 2880 by 2880 per eye. Um, I, I tried that with 90 and 120 hertz because the new modes up to 160 hertz were not uh, available uh, at the moment. But I I don't see the difference anyway. So the, this is not something you you should hear from me. Uh, it's uh, I, I I just don't see a difference between 90 and 140 hertz. So I don't care about that. <laughs> so the display is QLED plus mini LED and. Um, it's just amazing. Even the black levels, it's just like an OLED. It's just completely black. And the colors are also very powerful and everything. So uh, last time I saw this game in this quality or, or anything in this quality was I think with the Vario Aero or the Vario headsets. But I think the Pimax Crystal is uh, at least on same level with that. And that's something really cool. So the display of the Pimax Crystal is really Nice. Okay, let's talk about the lenses. So, look at these lenses. They are completely different than the old Pimax headsets. I will, I will show it to you. Give you a second. Look, look, look here. They are so much bigger, the old Pimax headsets. And, uh, oh, give me a second. <laughs> and um, so that has some advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is, of course, that uh, with this clear lenses, they call it triple layer nano coated aspheric lenses. 
That means they are very clear and there are no uh, rings like with the Fresnel lenses. So you don't have any gourd rays or glare effects. It's just amazing. It's very clear. Um, the disadvantage is that you have a smaller field of view. We will talk about that later. And also um, it could be that you, you see some uh, yeah, warping effects or something in the outer areas of the, of the view. Uh, that was not a problem for me, um, but perhaps some people will have a problem with that. Uh, I, I didn't care about that. It was just fine because everything was so clear. Yeah, the the uh, edge to edge clarity was no problem for me. Um, also, um, okay, the sweet spot, uh, I, I could find the sweet spot better with the old uh, Pimax headsets. Um, it was a little bit tricky to find it, but when you get it, it's it's just uh, fine and uh, you can see everything clear. So, yeah, there, with the headset come two pairs of lenses, um, the 35 pixel per degree and the 42 pixel per degree lenses. The 42 pixel per degree are um, have a smaller field of view but are clearer. But I don't have them. I just only have the 35 pixel per degree. If you order that, you will get both pairs. Okay, I, I cannot try the 42. So all in all the lenses are fine. I think they're, they are better than the old lenses and uh, everything is really clear. That's not a problem. Okay guys, and here are some very interesting values. These are the field of view values from different headsets. But it's very important to know that these are individual values of my eyes, of my head shape. You will have completely different values. That's very important to know. Many people will have bigger values because I have an alien skull or whatever that is. <laughs> so mostly I have lower values than other people. but. Uh, compared to my other results, perhaps it's interesting. So here you go. This is the Pimax Crystal with the 35 pixel per degree lenses that I have. There will be also the 42 pixel per degree lenses. They come with a, with a final package, but I don't have them. So I can give you these values. The values of the 42 pixel per degree will be a little bit lower, but the clarity will be higher. So I have a vertical field of view result of 108 degree and horizontal field of view of 102 degree. And this is a good result and it's fine. It's a little bit similar like the Valve Index and we know the Valve Index has a big field of view and uh, it's much higher than the value of the Reverb G2 or Vario Aero for me. And uh, that's a huge difference. But of course, the Pimax 8KX has the biggest, it has this really big lenses. So of course, the Pimax 8KX has much bigger field of view. So if you want to have big field of view, go for the Pimax 8KX. Uh, but I think the, the crystal results are really good. It's fine. It's bigger than most headsets, I would say. So, so the, I would say the uh, values of the MetaQuest 2 are standard. M many headsets have this value. So I think the crystal is doing good here. Yeah, that was the field of view. Let's talk about performance or stuff. Um, so normally in that standalone mode that will come later, you don't need any PC, of course. But many people want to connect this headset to the PC and uh, Pimax recommends minimum an RTX 2080, better uh, 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 a better <laughs> graphic card, uh, or an Intel i5 12500 or an AMD R7 3700X. So I had an RTX 3090 and an Intel 10900K and I didn't have any problems with that. So I could play all the games in the... Uh, I used the standard settings from PyTool and from SteamVR. I didn't change anything. So everything was really fine and very good graphics uh, and no problems with the performance with my setup. Let's talk about the controllers. So yeah, here are the controllers. So they, they just have the normal A, B, X, Y buttons, menu button and uh, the Pimax button to switch them on and stuff. So everything is the same. They are completely the same like the MetaQuest controllers. Yeah, the same 
uh, functions and stuff, uh, capacitive uh, sensors, so they know when you touch the buttons, the grip buttons and the uh, buttons here and the trigger button, so you can do a wrist or something, uh, 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 a fist or, or whatever. Um, and yeah, then the, the difference is that we have integrated batteries that you can charge with USB-C. And this could be a problem for some people because the battery lasts like five to six hours and then it's empty and you will be not be able to play with that until you charge that for two hours. So you cannot replace the batteries. Uh, that's some people perhaps don't like that. Uh, the, the batteries have 600 milliampere hours with USB-C and one controller is 162 gram. They are nothing special, just the standard controllers. Um, they, I, I, I love the index uh, controllers much more, but uh, yeah, these are the Pimax controllers. They are fine, but not the best. Let's talk about game compatibility. As this is a PC VR headset, of course you can play all the Steam VR games with that. So I played a lot of games, you can play, I, I think you can play all the games, but sometimes it's a little bit tricky, you have to activate some stuff in the Pi tool, for example, uh, parallel pro projections, hidden area mask or uh, Vive compatibility, it depends on the game. So if something is overlapping and you have a strange view, just uh, do the, uh, um, uh, buttons there in the Pi tool and then uh, it's good to go. So it's a little bit tricky, but that's always with the, even with the old Pimax headset. So you have to play around a little bit, but all in all you can play all the Steam VR games and also later the standalone games for this headset that will be in the Pimax store. I couldn't try that because it's not completely finished. Um, so perhaps I will do a video about the standalone mode uh, later this year. But uh, all in all, you can play every game with this headset on PC VR. Let's talk about uh, accessories and modules and stuff. So there will be some uh, modules uh, incoming. For example, the um, Lighthouse module. Uh, you will be able to put a module on the Primex Crystal to use Lighthouse tracking. So the base stations. And then you will be able to use full body tracking with this headset. So uh, you will mount the Vive trackers and then you have your full body tracking. Also, there will be a wireless module. You can find the connector here. Yeah, this is the connector for the wireless module. Uh, this will have like a Wi-Fi 6E, Ygig 60 uh, gigahertz. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have that uh, yet. So I will do a video later as soon as I get this module. But all in all, it has a lot of connections and, and stuff. And uh, yeah, you can do like everything with this headset. Okay guys, welcome to the tracking test. So we are in rec room here and I have the Pimax controllers. And as you can see, as long as I hold my controllers in front of me, that is no problem. Here, see that it's no uh, ah, delay. <laughs> but when I hold them behind my back, of course, the tracking is gone because the cameras are only watching in front. That's normal with this tracking. So as, and when I, Hold that in front of me. Yeah, the tracking is here. So when I use bow and arrow, you see that it's hanging a little bit. So could be a little problem perhaps in some games. But everything I played was pretty fine. And here in front of my chest, that also works pretty good. Yeah. But over my head, then the tracking is gone, of course. Yeah, and also in front of my head, directly in front of my head, it doesn't work. Yeah, but when I hold it like 20 centimeter in front of my head, then it works. But also when I hold them in front of each other, there's a problem. You see that? That doesn't work as well. So this could also be a problem for some games. Yeah, that you see that? That's a problem here. But all in all, um, I would say the tracking is not as good as with the MetaQuest controllers or something. They look the same, but uh, it's fine. It's okay. It's better than the Mixed Reality, for example, but they, perhaps they could fix that a little bit. That's the tracking. Let's talk about heat development. So um, I played hours with this headset uh, and uh, it's 
it's just getting hand warm, I would say, like all other headsets uh, that have no problems with that. It's just normal. Even the battery doesn't get really warm. Also inside the headset, uh, that's uh, heat development is not a problem with the Pimax Crystal. Let's talk about removable parts. So uh, you can remove nearly everything from this headset. Uh, for example, the, the whole face gasket can be removed and then it looks like this. Yeah. And you can also remove all the parts here. Uh, also the headphones and uh, here the, the part of uh, the back of your head and stuff. And so then you can clean everything pretty good. Yeah. Um, you can, here's also some, uh, yeah, uh, cloth material so there's no not getting dust inside the headset that's pretty good uh, so removable parts yeah it's it's good let's talk about ipd settings so the pimax the old pimax headset only had software ipd but the new pimax headset have an integrated motor that can uh, um, use the, the motor to uh, uh, switch the um, lenses uh, to uh, like uh, from 58 to 72 millimeters. So for now, um, you can use that with these buttons here. Yeah, you can hold them, and then uh, uh, you see uh, inside the headset you see some lines, and then you can see oh this is the best IPD for me, and then you can push the button, and the motor aligns the the lenses. Then you can also do that in the Pi tool. So if you know that you have 60 millimeter. Uh, uh, insert 60 millimeter and then setting and then the motor drives the um, lenses in the correct position. There is also eye tracking integrated. That so if you put on the headset, then it will measure your uh, interpupular distance and then use the motor to put that in the right correction. But it's not activated now, so I couldn't test that now. But all in all, that's uh, no problem. Let's talk about pass-through. So the Pimax has four cameras here, the Pimax Crystal, and uh, you will be able to, view, uh, to see your real environment through the cameras. But this is only available in the standalone mode. And the problem is the standalone mode is not yet available. I couldn't try that, but I will do a, a separate video as soon as this is available. And then I will also show you the pass-through view of the Pimax Crystal. Okay, let's do a test with glasses. So I have these big sunglasses here to try that. So best thing is if you put this up and then do like this and then this down and then spin the wheel until it's tight. And yeah, the um, glasses do not touch the lenses, what is really important. Um, and yeah, I, I don't see any problems with that. Uh, it fits under the headset. And uh, yeah, you see that it's still on my head. Only thing it's it touches, it pushes a little bit against my nose here, the, the glasses, but that's no problem. It's just uh, not um, so, so a big uh, problem here. Okay, and now there is something that I really dislike. I told that uh, Pimax that I don't like that and they know that. Um, so there is a battery included. It's here. And, and, and there is another battery as well here. So we have two batteries and this is the charging station. Uh, you have USB-C, you can charge the batteries. So for the standalone mode, of course, you need a battery. That's, that's uh, no problem. It's uh, uh, normal. That's normal. But the, the headset has, I, I will show it again. Here's the five meter cable and the end of this uh, cable has two USB and one display port. And now, <laughs> Even during the connection to PC, via these three cables, you need the battery and the battery goes lower and lower during the PC gameplay. And that sucks. I, I, I can't understand that. But normally, the, when you connect with these three cables to other PC we had said, VR headset, the, the power comes from the PC, of course, but not here. The battery will drain and it will drain very fast. Um, Pimax uh, told me that it will last five hours with one battery, but I cannot confirm that. Uh, it was empty in two to 2.5 hours during my sessions with Half-Life Elix and other VR games. And this sucks. Um, I can't understand why. I can't understand that. It's, it's crazy. But at least, I must say, we have the two batteries. They have uh, each 6,000 milliampere hours. They last, like I said, 2.5 hours or two hours. 
and uh, you can hot swap them at least. So inside the Pimax there is a 100, uh, uh, I think 120 milliampere uh, battery. So you can, during the gameplay, you can swap it and put the other uh, battery inside. But uh, a full charge of these batteries will last 2.5 hours. So it's very close, yeah? <laughs> it's very close. At least there are two batteries. But I really can't uh, understand why why this is the case. Uh, normally it should get the power via the, the, um, yeah, via the PC. But uh, they told me there is one um, connector that is USB 2. And this is, uh, give me a second here, uh, this one. Yeah. So this does not need to be to connect it to PC. You can also use a, a smartphone charger with a more power and then you can expand the battery life a little bit when you use this one here uh, 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 with more power. But all in all, I, I cannot, I, I don't know why I have to use a battery uh, while uh, playing with a PC. That's not a good decision. Let's talk about the connectors. So uh, the Pimax Crystal has a lot of uh, connectors. Here's the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. If you want to use your own headphones, you can uh, disassemble them here if you like. And then it has another USB-C port here inside. Uh, and here is the display port uh, or display cable. You can also uh, disconnect it here if you like. Then we have another USB-C port here on the side and here under the headset. So three USB-C ports uh, for all the modules that are incoming and on the top we also have the uh, connector for the wireless module. So this is a lot of stuff. Most headsets don't have all these connectors. That's great. Let's talk about eye tracking. So the Pimax Crystal has integrated eye tracking uh, so it can scan your uh, 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 eyes and stuff. But unfortunately, this is not yet available. It's not unlocked in, my, in the Pi tool and in the firmware. So I cannot try that. I'm sorry for that, but I will do a video uh, when this is ready. Let's talk about sound and microphone. So if you pre-ordered the Pimax Crystal, you will get the DMAS premium headset, the uh, headphones here. They are integrated here. If you buy it later, there will be the standard Headphones. This is just a slot here, like with the uh, uh, Quest 2 or something. Then it will look like this here. Yeah, and um, so there is a screwdriver included where you can disassemble that. If you want to use your own headphones, you can just uh, dis. Uh, uh, yeah, you can dismantle uh, that and uh, just use your own headphones. And uh, the screwdriver is also for the. Um, Swapping the lenses. Yeah, um, the sound of these things are, is of course not so good. It's like with the Quest 2, not powerful. With this one, it's better, uh, but it's still not so perfect. I, I, I think it's not as good as the Valve Index. The Valve Index has, in my opinion, the best sound. This is okay, but I want more powerful sound. It's okay, yeah. So, then the, um, the Pimax Crystal have has three microphones. One is here and two are here. Um, I made a recording, a test recording. Let's hear that. Okay, guys, here's a microphone test with the Pimax Crystal. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do some popping sounds. Pop, 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 pop. And let's scream a little bit here. And the other way. Yeah, and as you can hear, there are no popping sounds like with the HTC headsets. And uh, yeah, it's not too loud. When I scream, it's also okay. But there were some crackling noises. I have no idea. I think this is more a software problem. I hope they will solve that in the future because all in all, the microphone and the sound is pretty good. Uh, um, but I, I, I still prefer the microphone of the Valve Index. It has the best in sound and microphone. That's why I still will record my videos with the Valve Index on PC VR. So when you are a YouTuber, you have to notice other things. <laughs> However, yeah, sound and microphone is pretty good. Let's talk about the standalone mode. So here there is the small switch and on the left position it says AIO, so all in one, and on the right position it says PC. 
and of course you know what to do. <laughs> So unfortunately, I cannot really show you the standalone mode. Uh, I can activate that and see a little bit. There is a home environment and you can do some, uh, yeah, uh, some settings and see some apps or so. But the most things are in Chinese and everything is not really ready. So it doesn't make sense for now yeah, that I, I will show it to you. As soon as that is ready, I will do a separate video about that. And then I will show you the standalone mode and the camera pass through mode. Okay, and let's talk about the price. That's very important. So, uh, they, they, to be honest, they couldn't tell me everything about the price. They told me the headset will be $1,599 and for the so-called Pimexians, so people that already have a Pimax, it's 100 bucks cheaper, so $1,499. But they couldn't tell me where you can buy that. Will it come from China? Will it be on Amazon or whatever? Will there be some custom fees or some uh, taxes? Uh, I, I have no idea, they couldn't tell me. So I'm pretty sure this is the price without tax. So uh, I think it will be like 1,800 bucks or something. But please guys, check out the uh, um, price in the description below. I will uh, keep it... Uh, keep the right price in the description. So uh, there's also the link where you can buy this headset. This would be a very interesting. And uh, yeah, so check the description for the final price. Okay guys, and now I've talked a lot about this headset. Let's come to a conclusion. I listed that in pro and contra arguments. Let's start with pro. Of course, the most important thing of this headset is the display. This is so good. It's crystal clear. It's really sharp. Everything is, uh, I, I, I still can't believe it. It's crazy. The black levels are awesome. The colors are awesome. So this is really the most important thing on the pro side for the Pimax Crystal. Really, guys. The next thing is, um, yeah, the connectors and uh, the additional uh, accessories that you can buy. You, you will be able to, to connect the wireless module, the lighthouse module, the eye tracking. There will also be a hand tracking module and a lot of connectors, a lot of stuff that you will be able to do. You can even do then, uh, the, the full body tracking later. So this is a really nice thing that's not available with many other headsets. And I also put the field of view on the pro side because I know the field of view of the old Pimax headsets and the Pimax 8KX is much higher, but for this crazy awesome and very sharp display, the field of view is really good. Um, for example, the Vario Aero has also a very sharp and clear display, but it has a very small field of view. So if you would ask me, uh, when I get both for free, would I decide the Vario Aero or the Pimax Crystal. I would go for the Pimax Crystal because of the same very sharp and clear display and also a big field of view. So this is why I put field of view on the pro side. But there's also some contra arguments. The software, they need to fix that. There is a lot of problems. I had a lot of problems. Um, there were uh, some bugs, some strange error messages like 10572 or whatever. And sometimes it works, sometimes not. Uh, also, I couldn't um, uh, flash the new firmware. There were some errors. Sometimes they uh, say the controllers are not connected, but when you go to SteamVR, then there are the controllers. This is so strange. They really have to fix the software. Uh, but I think they will. It's just an early version still, so I think they will fix that. And the biggest thing is, the, for, for me, is the battery. So I still can't believe why I have to use the battery and why the battery drains while I have it connected to PC. This is so crazy. So. You, you can just play like 2 or 2.5 hours and at the same time you have to charge the other uh, battery and then swap it. And sometimes, perhaps if the battery only lasts 2 hours and the charging time is 2.5 hours, you will not be able to play like 3 hours in one piece. Perhaps could be the case, depends on what you play. And that's something I really don't understand. Yeah. So th this is crazy for me. <laughs> Um, the battery. And also, I must 
I, uh, I put that on the contra side, the, the weight. You notice that when you put it on your hand. The, the, the uh, weight is spread it pretty good, but you really notice that you have a heavy headset on your head. So, who on earth should buy this headset? <laughs> so, of course, people that love a very good display. Yeah? The, the display is really nice. That's why I really uh, can um, say that's a nice headset. It's very sharp. So if you really want to play like simulators, like if you want, want to see the cockpit very crystal clear, all the, the text and stuff, perhaps if you even want to work with this headset and see the, the writings or the text on desktop, then this could be something for you. But only if the battery and the weight uh, doesn't matter for you. Okay, that's some very important thing. If you want a headset with bigger field of view, then go for the Pimax 8KX. Yeah? That's uh, the two things I would say. So if you want to buy this headset, you can find the link in the description below for the Pimax Crystal. I really hope you, you liked my review. If yes, give me a thumbs up. And if you still want to have honest and brutal reviews, then check out the first uh, pinned comment. You can support me only one buck per month. Um, and then you get behind the scenes videos and early access to my videos. So guys, thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Wudu.de